how often do you look back on those moments in your life, right? When you were first starting Lizzie and you're, you know, releasing I think I'm constantly reminded about it, you know? Does that suck to be constantly reminded about it? No, no. I mean, I think for a while when I was around like uh, 16 to like 21, yeah. I was like, if someone calls me Lizzie one more time, <laughs> like, I'm going to backhand them. <laughs> That's what it is, yeah. you know? Of course. Um, but now I'm, I think I'm just like at such peace with it. And I yeah. look back and I'm like, I worked really hard on that. And that was such a big part of who I was. Like that character was me. I wasn't acting like that. You know what I mean? Like uh, the writers would be like, what's happening with you and your friends? What are you wearing right now? Like I picked all my own clothes. I, so fun. It was so such a, we had so, so much in common, I would say that like, whatever. And, and that's what made the show so real, man. Well, I think it also, I'm grateful for the fan base that it gave me. Uh -huh. Like people have stuck with me for so long because that show touched them for whatever reason, you know? Lizzie taught me so much about life and school <laughs> and parents and navigating it all. Like it was phenomenal. And like, Rome. Dude, and Rome? <laughs> Rome. Oh my God, <laughs> I can't. You know what was really cool actually was um, for like my record release week was in mm -hmm. New York and um, I did a, a signing at a mall and yeah. everyone that was there was like from 20 to 30. Okay. Like of a maybe a little bit younger and a little old, like give or take mm -hmm. or whatever, but so many people, all everyone there was like, you don't understand. Like I love this record. This is your best record yet, but like y you were my first concert, or like I went <laughs> wow. to Rome with my girlfriends, hoping to like get on the back of a scooter with a boy. Like <laughs> you know, like so I get great. to hear all awesome the everyone things. wants. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you know, it's all full circle now, and I'm yeah. like, oh, thanks. You know, thanks for still like sticking around. In insane to think about the fact that those all those long hours that you put in on set, like. All that hard work you put in, it really touched people. I mean, it changed some people's lives, you know? It, it it gave them, some people, a purpose. It taught people how to navigate life. Is it insane to think about that that sort of project, that sort of show, that work that you did can go on and, and, and live for this long and touch so many people? Um, did you ever think that it would? Oh, my gosh. No, I mean, no, I was too young to kind of, like, fathom yeah. that kind of thing, I think, and... I had totally quit acting. I had moved back to Texas, and I I had been I had been on a show for ABC, and um, I had been replaced uh, after the pilot. Like the show got picked up, and then they replaced me, and they replaced me with like twins. Ooh. So like, uh, they could work the twins for okay. hours. Makes like, sense, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it makes mm -hmm. sense to you. But if you were like eleven and oh, you got the worst fired, in the world. <laughs> you're yeah, like, yeah. they hated me. I suck. Whatever. Yeah. Like it's so awful. Um, so I was like, uh, mom, I want to go home and be like a normal kid. And so I went back. My mom's like, OK, well, I have to stay with your sister because she's filming a movie. But if you want to go be with dad, like whatever. So I went back home and then Disney kept calling me because I had auditioned for a million things for them before. And they're like, uh -huh. we think she's perfect for this. And I was like, I'm not coming. Like, no, I don't want to. I'm done. And then they offered to send me a plane ticket. And then I was like, a free trip to go see my friends in L.A.? Hell yeah. <laughs> and I did. And then I went and I, like, b totally blew my audition. I didn't know any of my lines. And the casting director was like, you're not prepared for this. Like, come back when you're prepared. And I was like, <gasps> scary. Yeah. I was like, okay. Okay. And then I came back prepared and I got it. So I was like, wow. I didn't, I think my hopes, like, I didn't want to get my hopes up. And yeah, then of course. All of a sudden, one day, like, I would try to go to the mall with my friends once the show came out. And I was, like, hiding in a bathroom stall because I was like by people. <laughs> I mean, Drake liked my photo on Instagram the other day. So wait, 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 hold on. That one. 